Et alors Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who she is after. Franklin traveled to England and France. And that guy said Notre Dame. She must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Cette fois Shit What happened That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. 
Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. I'm bored out of my Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location of the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar, rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy.
Helix is still up and running, but it looks like there could still be some interruptions in the service. Okay, the numbskull is in another animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jaeger. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsay Farn. 793, northeastern coast of England. Sorry. History, nerd. So, how was it? It was summer. Good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, oh, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. This place is a fucking disaster piece. Servers, numbskull, servers!
can't stop crafting oculi. It's like a disease. Don't you dare show your face without restoring the servers. Show your face without restoring the servers. Hey boss, calling from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history, from Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh, and it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory.
All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How's that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now! Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Uh. Uh. Hey. 
Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh. Leave her alone! Ah. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. I'll make short work of you! Thank you, Shay. In the younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
Difficult for yourselves. Will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. 
Fair enough. I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared it through. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Corbeck. I merely assist. Why do we choose to live here? Repeatedly commit the crime of sleeping in on the Lord's day. Let it also be known. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Paul. 